Hello folks, Major Gosnell here, and today I want to speak to you about the Steam User Review System. It's a system that's been troubling me for a little while, uh, because I think it's quite frankly fundamentally flawed in a lot of ways. Uh, basically, I noticed recently I purchased a game called Naval Action. Now this game was in a closed beta, or a closed alpha, for a number of months, and they literally on the 21st went live on Steam in early access. Now Within about three hours of the game going live, there was 74 to 100 reviews on Steam praising the game. Now, in fairness, the game does deserve praise. It is quite good, if a little bare bones at the moment, and it is early access. But I just found it very strange that people feel justified in reviewing a game within three hours of it releasing, especially an MMO. There's no way on earth you're going to experience good portions of the game within the first three hours of an MMO, by any measure. And I think this is indicative of the larger problem that the Steam Review system has. A lot of people use Steam Review to determine whether or not they purchase a game. They go on other people's opinions, and this is a good thing in a certain way. However, the way that Steam provides this service and moderates it leaves it open to rampant abuse and rampant misinformation. And that's the misinformation is actually the bulk of what I'm aiming for here, guys. The basic problem is you have a lot of people who have no, I will say it, professional standard for reviewing. Reviewing games after playing the first level and saying that this game is the best thing since sliced bread. You saw it particularly with the video we're watching at the moment of Metal Gear Solid V. When this game came out, the first couple of days, the reviews were all very positive, very positive, very positive. People who've only played a couple of hours of the game. And then, within a week, you started to notice that the reviews, reviews were going a little negative. And all the shit about the missing levels and stuff was coming out. Now, just taking a look along here. It seems to have balanced out, so maybe they patched a lot over the last couple of uh, patches. However... The fact remained that the opening salvo of reviews by the jumping on the bang wagon crowd, which is what I call the early reviewers, um, basically praised this game to high heaven and led to it having increased sales, which I don't think was justified in this case because the game was a bit of a mess on launch. And I'm seeing it across the board with other games as well. The naval action game, that deserves praise, it is good game. However, there's a lot of games out there, Airport Simulator, uh, in particular, there has been claims that a lot of the early reviews that were done on that game were actually done by friends of the developers to promote the game. And this is another aspect that Steam needs to look at that people are going to abuse the reviewing system, especially for smaller companies. People get their friends and family to promote the game and promoting them through positive reviews. It's corruption, but in the community sector for once in games journalism. So, basically, like, I just think that Steam needs to review, <laughs> no pun intended, how they actually go about allowing the community to review games. I honestly think there should be a time limit on the amount of time somebody spends in a game before they can put up a review, or a completion rate, a minimum of, say, 75%. I don't know how practical that would be to placing games, but I think it would enhanced reviewing system significantly. Because at the moment, you people, they're playing games for one hour in a game that should take a hundred hours to complete and then coming onto the review system, this game sucks, or this game is fabulous. And it can be both negative and helpful, but fundamentally it's it's not a good review. It's It's somebody jumping the gun and not actually doing what a professional should do. And I do think there is a difference between professional journalists games journalists and professional reviewers and people who take it seriously. I'm not talking industry professional, I'm talking people who understand what a review actually is and doing the right thing and doing a quality review. And then people who just want to post stuff up on the thing that this game is fabulous. And given the age of gamers as well. There's no doubt a lot of children on here. And I'm not dishing children by any measure. There is a lot of mature children, but there is going to be that element of younger children who want their voices heard, who are going to put up reviews as well. 
So I honestly think that Steam needs to introduce a system that sort of moderates itself, so to speak. So have that little time limit or completion rate on games. Have a better system for reviewing so that you don't have people... Like, look at this guy here, Insomniac Dose. His review, a Hideo Kojima game, and a recommended. That's not a review. That's... You're basically saying the game is good because Hideo Kojima developed it. That's... That's that's your entire review, man. There's no um, effort put into it. Let's take a look at this guy's other reviews. And this isn't a dig now at Insomniac Dose by any measure. Okay. Oh, I actually put a little uh, poem in here. That's not too bad. Can't read that. Best comedy game of 2015. Like, this guy clearly has taken the piss with his reviews. Yet... A game like Hatred, which I think a lot of people will agree was a piece of junk, he's given a plus to. Now people who aren't familiar with the controversy, who aren't familiar with the game, see a lot of pluses, they might buy the game. So, you know, it's the system doesn't work here. The reviewing system does not work in these games. Clearly he put a lot of work into Final Fantasy, fair juice. Though, unfortunately, it's in another language, so I can't determine the actual value of it. Good God, that's bad English there. Anyway, enough of uh, insomniac toes there. Uh, sorry, bud, not trying to pick on you, but you caught my eye there with your review uh, sentence. So anyway, uh, back to what I was saying, guys. I just honestly believe that Steam needs to change the way the review system works. There needs to be a level of professionalism in there or a greater display of what this person's actually done with the game so far. Now, fair enough, it does say how many hours it has on the um, game. I believe here it says 185 hours. Fair enough, that's a fair point. But the vast majority of reviews when they're released are released with two, three hours of gameplay. For AAA games, this is both bad and both good, because for AAA games, if they're messy releases, they're going to get slammed with negativity, even though patches will fix the game over time, but people don't update their reviews. And with games such as Metal Gear Solid V, where the hyperbole is so large that people are giving it positive reviews based on the developer's name, which I honestly believe is what happened with Metal Gear Solid V here, because that game was a goddamn disaster for me. I honestly think that Steam needs to fix this entire system, or maybe we could start a movement of professional reviewers in Steam. I don't know, let's form a group, professional reviewer group, and just provide a better quality of reviews. Because at the moment this system is screwed up and it's leading to people making purchases that they don't need to make, or missing better games because people are slamming them unjustifiably. So, thanks for watching, guys. I hope this made some sense to people, this ramblings of a mad Irishman. So, anyway, catch you on the next video, guys.